Okay, my name is Marek Hilscher. I am uh, originally I dedicated my career to uh, medical science uh, in a first faculty of medicine in Prague, uh, but the life uh, brought me to uh, to the politics, and now I am a senator of a Czech. Uh, Senate. For cooking democracy, I choose a recipe uh, that I learned in the uh, in United States uh, when I was with my friend uh, in California, uh, and she she taught me uh, to to prepare it. Uh, it's a very simple it's a very simple meal. It's a very simple recipe. I always uh, cook it when I am at home alone, and I need to be. Uh, uh, feed very fast, so it's, it's, it's simple and easy. We need the bacon. In general, I say it's a artichokes uh, with, uh, with bacon. 100 grams or 200 grams, it, de it depends how much bacon you want and uh, it depends uh, what the ratio of bacon and, uh, and artichoke uh, you prefer. Uh, it's very easy, just cut the bacon to the, to the pieces. We put it to the pan, yeah. We can add a little bit of oil. <coughs> then I prepare the artichokes. I have uh, artichokes in water. Those are the, the, the hearts of artichokes, not the whole artichokes, but the hearts of artichokes. Mm, beautiful pieces. Artichoke is not a typical, typical ingredient for Czech cuisine. So I just cut it like this. It's easy, easy peasy. See, in 10 minutes, 15 minutes is done and ready. And now I just start cooking the, the bacon. So now we can add the we can add artichokes. The bacon is not so healthy, but it gives it the meaty taste. But the artichokes are healthy because it's a fiber, so fiber is good for the guts. You can add a little bit of pepper, but sometimes I eat it without anything. I sometimes add the water a little bit. So now it's ready to eat, and we can uh, put it to the plate. Fine. It's done. So this food should be served uh, with uh, with wine, I think. But because I am Czech and I like I like beer, and the Czechs in general like beer, I think we are super power in a, in a making beer. So I always. Uh, uh, eat it with uh, with beer and beer also makes uh, people sleep so as I said I eat it uh, mostly when I come home at night and I do it quickly so then I have a good <laughs> good sleep mm, let's try
It's so easy that nothing can go wrong. Okay, so uh, let's stop talk about the food and, uh, and I think we shall speak about the democracy and how to cook democracy. Um, democracy for me, it's a, it's a very complex thing, but uh, in general, I, I would say that democracy is a peaceful uh, transition of power and peaceful changing of power. That's, that's very important. Democracy is for me, it's a, it's a rule of law. And rule of law is important for the freedom uh, and uh, freedom of, of speech. So those are very important values that uh, represents democracy. And I think uh, the best way how to organize the, the society. Democracy for me means uh, uh, prosperity. Democracy for me means uh, that the people can organize their life uh, how they want. Uh, they can make the plans, the plans, their life plans how they want, uh, uh, and uh, in freedom and, and peace. Democracy is very fragile. Democracy and uh, and liberty and freedom it's very fragile and. Uh, and I think it's the best invention that uh, that the human uh, that humans invented in organizing the society. And um, uh, there are always somebody who wants to take rights from other people, who wants to dominate and who wants to uh, somehow kill democracy, who wants to to make people to be to be quiet. And uh, uh, to preserve democracy, we must uh, we must know and we must be aware. That, uh, that democracy can uh, can be uh, ended very fast, very fast. The, the, the history of Europe shows that uh, democracy changed in 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 in, in several years uh, and became the, the the I would say the uh, the worst uh, the worst dictatorship and totality um, in the history. Uh, I belong to the happy uh, generation uh, of Czech people who experienced the totalitarian regime, but also uh, as a young uh, young person, I, I I lived in the democracy. Yeah, so so the the fall of the totalitarian regime uh, happened when I was 14 years old. So I remember very well the school. Uh, I remember that we had to live in, in two words. One word was, uh, uh, was the, the lies in the school, yeah, and the other word was the family. So we couldn't speak and we couldn't talk uh, the politic things that we were discussing in the, in, in, at home and uh, in the school. We had other things. So, so that was uh, living in a hypocrisy. Yeah? Uh, for example, I also remember that uh, the totalitarian regime was not very effective economically. Yeah? Uh, I remember that uh, we didn't have here a, a toilet paper, for example, in a, co in a communist time. And people couldn't travel, people couldn't buy books uh, that um, were, for example, about, about uh, some philosophy and, and, and so on. So, so uh, I'm very happy that uh, I lived in the totalitarian regime for a short period of, of my life because I can remember it, uh, I can think about it and I know what it means. But I'm also happy that uh, uh, the, the majority of my life I, I lived in, a, in, a, in a liberty. My personal story is uh, I also experienced uh, emigration, political emigration. When I was a young kid, my father uh, wanted to escape to totalitarian regime and took me with him. So I lived in Spain for some period and I couldn't see, I could, I could see the difference between totality and between the democracy instantly from one day to, to, to other day. And it was very uh, important experience for me that determined me. My personal experience is also in the family because uh, I have uh, at least two Two examples uh, of uh, broken families. Because in 1968, uh, when the communist uh, regime 
uh, or Russian tanks came to, to, to Czechoslovakia and occupied our land. Uh, uh, so many people, uh, many people left the country because of the of the desire of freedom, and many families were were separated uh, then. So this is, I think, also important to know. Uh, I'm convinced that uh, to maintain democracy, uh, it's uh, possible only if the democrats and democratically thinking people uh, cooperate together. Uh, around the whole planet, and uh, and we must support the uh, the values. So let's cook democracy together. <laughs>